video, I am super excited to be introducing the baby otters to water for the first time. Uh, and then now we just gotta wait for this to fill up, you know. These guys love papaya. I mean, they're just absolutely devouring it. Let's just pull this out right here. So I'm gonna start them off in the shallow end first. I'm gonna put this little guy right here. Whoa. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely incredible Monday. Now for today's video I am super excited to be introducing the baby otters to water for the first time. So I went over to Mario's house and I got a little kiddie pool and it's actually pretty big and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be setting the pool up in the yard. We're going to be letting them explore the yard as well and get their very first taste of water. They're about, what are they now? They're about 53 days old now and I'm just so excited for them to finally get in the water and in the future we're going to introduce them to water today and then later on we're going to actually put fish in the water and that's going to be another video where we're going to start teaching them how to hunt fish, catch live fish. It is going to be absolutely amazing and guys I have not forgotten about the name for the baby otters and the new guinea pig so guess what guys stick around and at the end of the video I will pick a name for the two baby otters as well as the guinea pig. So without further ado let's go head over grab the kiddie pool and get it set up. Take a look at this. This is the kiddie pool right here. Now it looks small, but this thing expands really, really big. So I'm not gonna expand it now. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. Let's see, can we lift it? All right, we're good. Oh my gosh, yeah, you can just see how big this pool gets. So let's, uh, let's walk it over here to the back. And this pool right here is actually not your everyday pool that you'll find at your pool store. You know, this is a very heavy duty pool that's actually bite proof. It's actually meant for animals. So we're going to place it, uh, I don't know, right here. Take a look at that. We got the pool right here. Oh wait, it's a little bit, uh, we gotta pull it out. So this is like the overall size of the pool. It's pretty, pretty freaking big. It's really, really big. You can see that all you have to do is literally just pull it in place and it's got that nice soft bottom and it's really big. So since it's the otter's first time in this pool, we're only gonna raise it up maybe like six inches, maybe just about to like right here or even lower, because you know, I don't want to overwhelm them for the first time that they're in the pool. But before we start with the otters, guys, we have to fill this pool up. We're gonna use well water, and the reason why I like to use well water is because regular city water could have chlorine and other contaminants that are really just not good at all for the otters. So we're gonna go right over here, grab our hose. We can see it in the distance. There's the hose, and we're gonna get this pool filled up. Very important thing I almost forgot, which was making sure this drain was nice and tight because, you know, I don't wanna be filling it up and this pool literally just totally leak out. So I was just headed over to grab the hose and I noticed these guys were all out munching on some papaya. Look at these red foots. I don't think I've shown them for a while, but look at them. These guys love papaya. I mean, they're just absolutely devouring it. And I actually have a tree right there where I grow like all my own papayas. So it's really cool to be able to like grow your own fruit and then actually feed it out to your animals. What's up, buddy? This guy keeps escaping. I found this guy twice in the past two days. Like, I don't know, he's an escape artist. He's somehow climbing the other tortoises or like climbing the trees and hopping out. So I just got some new bricks right over here. We're gonna stack it up, make it a little bit higher. These guys are just so cool. But anyways, let's grab our hose right here. We're just gonna turn that on. This is all well water right here. Let's see, are we running? All right, we got that end off. Let's pull it. And then now we just gotta wait for this to fill up. You know, I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to take to actually fill this pool up, but I don't think it should take longer than like 10 minutes maybe, since we're only doing it about halfway, maybe like five, six inches. Here, you sit right there. So while this pool right here is filling up, I wanna give all of you guys a couple updates around the house here. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple videos ago I told you that my big Galapagos tortoise was sick, wasn't doing well, I was gonna to have to take it to the vet. Well, I took it to the vet and it's been on antibiotics for like 12-ish mm, days now. I'm not entirely sure, I'll have to go look. But he is doing a lot better. He's right over here in the, bo oh, it's spider web. I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera, but this is spider's heaven right here. I mean, guys, there's gotta be like at least 100, 200 spiders right here. Oh, let's so right here is the bigger Galapagos tortoise. She's kind of just hanging out in the bushes. She's like, I don't want anything to do with you, bro. What do you, she's like a little bit nervous right now. Not nervous, but she's like, hey, you're the guy that gives me those shots every day. So she's like, I want to get away from you. You might be giving me a shot. Yes, I'm having to give her shots for her, you know, infection. Whatever she had wrong with her, we're giving her some antibiotics and it seems to be working because she's a lot more active now. But let's go grab her a papaya off the tree and see if, you know, we can get her out of the bushes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got a nice ripe one right here. Let's pull it 
Guys, I just love being able to get fresh fruit that I've actually grown. I know there's no pesticides or chemicals or any nasty stuff on it. And I actually only want to give her about half of it since she's a grassland tortoise. I don't like to give her so much fruit. Let's just break off like... Here, Redfoots, you guys like fruit. There you go. All right, this is all we're going to give her, a small piece, like a little snack. What's up, girl? You want some fruit? Come here. Oh, yeah, you know you want it. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on, big tortoise. Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh, that's some yummy papaya. So, guys, I don't give her fruit too often. It's just like... What? You just ran over it. Come here. Let me get it. Ah, uh, don't crush my hand. Here you go. Right here. No? No? All right. There you go. All right. It's coming along. I think we're about good, actually. Yeah, I don't want to add any more water than that. So let's uh, let's just pull this out right here. And that's good. That's about like four inches. And I think it's going to be, you know, plenty deep for these little otters. The pool is filled. The updates have been given. So let's go grab these baby otters. Here's the little otters. They're just knocked out right now. We have... Little baby. Oh my gosh! Hello! Hello, kids! Hello, how are you? Look, they're so happy to see me. Hi! 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 But guys, you know, I just realized that it's uh, 1.40 and it's time for these baby otters to eat. So before we can take them swimming, I'm gonna have to feed them. One hour later. So the little baby otters have eaten and I have them like in this little sack. Now guys, this is not my sack, this is my sister's, but this is the only way to like carry them all out at the same time. I mean, hello, say hi. What's up kiddos? So right now, before they actually go into the pool, I'm gonna let them explore the grass for a little bit. They haven't had too many interactions with the grass. Come here guys, come here. Come on out, come out, come say hi. Oh my gosh guys, look at this grass. This is some fun grass, huh? Have you ever seen grass this fun? Hi. They just want to come to me. They're like, oh, we feel safe with you. Oh, there could be some dangerous predators around here. We don't know. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? Guys, what are you doing? Watch, I bet they'll follow me. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, guys. These little dudes just follow me around. Hi, hello. This way. Oh, look, there's a tortoise there. Come here, this way, this way, this way. Guys, hi. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so much fun. They're like little dogs. Hi. Hi. Come here, little otters. Hi. You are so cute. I love you guys so much. All right, so come over here, guys. Guys, we're going to go in the pool now. Come here. You want to come? Yeah. Come here. Hi. So I'm going to start them off in the shallow end first. I'm going to put this little guy right here. Whoa, this is weird. This is water. What the heck is this? And then I'm going to put this little guy in it right here. So we're going to keep them in the shallow end. We, don't, we want them to feel very comfortable inside of the water. I'm just going to get in here with them. This is their first interaction in the water, so they just got to get the hang of it. They're not entirely sure what this stuff is. Oh my gosh. Guys, do you like your pool? Oh my gosh, guys. Go comment down below what you think these otters are thinking right now because this is just crazy. This is just so much fun watching them swim. Oh, hi. What's up, buddy? Hi, little dude. Hi. It's pretty neat, huh? You were born to like water. You have to get used to it eventually. Guys, hello. So my mom just brought a little ball out for them. I want to see what they'll do with it. Here. Look. Look at the ball. Look at it. She's playing with it. She's like, whoa, what is this thing? I think these guys want out. Oh, look, look, a ball. Hi. Hello. Oh, look, 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 look. She loves the ball. She loves it. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Look. Guys, it is so much fun to be able to give these animals the enrichment that they need, like playing with a ball in a pool. I mean, this is their first time doing this. It's just so insane watching this. This is just absolutely incredible. Guys, that's so much fun, right? Oh my goodness, these guys are just absolutely adorable. It is time for the little baby otters to come out of the pool. They've been in here for about 15 minutes now, and they are just ready to get out. So we're just going to dry them off now. Hi, kids. Did you have fun for your first time in the pool? 
You know, we want them to get nice and dry. We don't want them to get cold. That could possibly have a pneumonia. But if you look, their fur actually is very streamlined. So when they get wet, it actually is real slick with their body. That helps them propel through the water. And it also has like a natural water repellent. So they dry very easily and very quickly. So it won't take too long to dry them off. You can see with just a few strokes of the towel, you can see that he's already like almost dry. And it's like, like, look at that, all fluffy. But if you look right here on the underside, it's still wet but we're just going to scrub them like this. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching. And if you guys have not already, please go comment down below what you thought of these little baby otters. And guys, I have not forgotten about the winners for the otter name as well as the guinea pig. So first, we're going to start off with the guinea pig. I want to give a special shout out to Sarah Church for picking the name Brownie Sarah. Love the name. And I want to give a special shout out to Carly Ness for picking the name Casper and Coral for the baby otters. Guys, thank you so much for participating if any of you guys also picked whoa it is bright and I want to give a very special shout out to just everyone who commented and participated guys thank you so much for all the support it's just absolutely incredible that videos like this will have thousands and thousands of comments from people like you people who care and if it is your guys first time on the channel and you guys are not subscribed already well guess what guys it is the first link down below